Perfect. There Great. we go. All right. Welcome, everyone. We are going to give a few minutes so everyone can start joining. Hello, hello. I see everyone coming on. Jesse, are your kids in bed now or right before dinner? Almost. It's yeah, so it's 7 p.m. here, so we are just about to have a dinner. We're doing a raclette tonight, Amazing. which is a, like, melted cheese situation. It's really good. <laughs> you had me at melted cheese. That sounds <laughs> Can't go great. wrong with melted cheese. <laughs> Cannot go wrong. So many naughty French foods that exist here. So. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say. Give me all of the croissants and all of the baguettes and all of the wine, just all of exactly. it. <laughs> exactly. A lot of, a lot of gym time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it's great. It's great. I mean, when you're a foodie, France is the place to be. So. I, I bet. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> all right. Um, I think you had a lot of people at melted cheese situations, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Let me like make sure I have the little the chat open. Chat. Hi, everyone. Oh, yes. Melted cheese situations. I think it's a favorite for a lot. All, all my favorites. And Crystal, hello from Minnesota. That's my my homeland, my original homeland. I bet we'll have people from Indiana here too, Jesse. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Illinois. We're getting we're getting close. Southern Germany. Close. Oh. Hi, Tennessee. Oh, Germany, you guys are right over, right over the border. Perfect. All right. Well, it looks like we have a good number of people. Ohio, very close. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. Almost there. All right. All right. So we are going to get started. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. I am so very, very excited for, all, for you all to share the next 30, 35 minutes with us. Today, I have the absolute pleasure to introduce Jesse Rollet, the amazingly talented artist behind Etta V. And Etta V is one of EC's latest collaborations. We are so thankful to have her amazing creativity on our EC products and so excited to share a little bit of her process with you today. My name is Tanya. I'm the CEO of Erin Condren, if we haven't met. Uh, many of you, I think we have met. I see a bunch of familiar names popping up. Um, today, we actually get a chance to watch Jessie as she um, shows us some of her techniques, and she's actually going to do a live painting demonstration for us. So we're very excited um, to watch her process and get to know her a little bit more, understand some of the inspiration behind her uh, painting. I would highly recommend staying tuned if you can for the full 35 minutes. We have three amazing giveaways one of which I already told Jesse that I really, really wish I could win, but I can't. But that last, that third giveaway is amazing. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of an introduction to Jesse, and then I'm going to hand it over to her um, to let you let her tell you a little bit more about herself. Um, so just a couple of quick notes, just some technical things. This session is recorded. Um, I would recommend a gallery view in Zoom so you can see the products that we're showing and the painting at the same time. And remember that the chat section is available to pop questions in. I'm going to be monitoring that and we'll be asking, doing a Q&A sprinkled throughout the demonstration. Um, so Jesse is originally from Indiana, which is why we're looking for some folks from Indiana here. Um, she now, uh, for the last, I believe, Jesse, 10 years, you've lived in France. Eight years. Mm -hmm. Eight years. Perfect. So um, in Paris for a bit and now in Strasbourg, France, um, she is a mama to two littles, a four-year-old and a three-month-old. So thank you, Jesse. I know how tired those times <laughs> I was during those times. Um, so we really appreciate you having you on. Um, all right. So I, Jesse, do you want to do a quick check to make sure we can hear you and everything? You're good? Yeah. Testing, testing. Can you guys Perfect. hear me? Let me know if it's all good. Yeah. Yep, it's good to me. So let us know if anything comes up. Otherwise, I'm also going to show you um, just a few of my favorites of these little acrylic blocks from your collection. I have two of them behind me. They are so beautiful and so amazing. Um, so we're so excited to see some of the way that you bring these beauties to life. And I have a bunch of other products I'm going to show um, from the collection as well. 
So Jesse, do you want to take it from here and give us a little bit of an introduction to you and to your process and kind of what inspires you? Absolutely. Um, I just first want to say thank you all so much, um, like from the Erin Condren team for um, this wonderful collaboration. And thank you, Tanya, for taking this time to talk art with me and color. It just thinks such a wonderful thing uh, for us to all connect over. Um, so yes, I am Jesse. I am the colorful artist behind the uh, brand Etta V. I moved to France about eight years ago, which is where I started my colorful Etta V journey by painting. Um, I moved in the midst of winter and needed just a little bit more color for my eyes. And so I started painting original canvases and um, found that people really resonated with them. And so that uh, really motivated me to produce more, share more of my colorful artwork with everyone. And, and over time, we built a brand. And so I just um, am incredibly excited to be able to share more about my process with you all and, um, and more about this collection, which is so stunning. I just was blown away when I opened the sam sample box of all the pieces. I was absolutely blown away and, um, and just thrilled to be joining the planning giant of Erin uh, Condren. So. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. We appreciate it. Yeah. We appreciate it. All right. Do you want to start on the process or where would you like, where do you start with when you do these um, live tutorials? Yes. So I am going to go ahead and switch my camera. Well, my camera, I'm going to leave this camera on and I'm going to head over here to <laughs> my canvas, which is right next to me. Um, today, I will be painting on a canvas panel which it's an eight by 10, just a canvas panel. And what's so wonderful about these is that they're just so light. You can frame them in any frame you want to. And I will be painting with acrylic paint. So for any of you who may be painting along, real quickly, I do just wanna say that if you are wanting to mix up some colors real quickly, if you want to make an orange, you can go ahead and mix your, um, I mean, I'm not sure what you guys have on hand. I just know some people might be painting along. Um, mix a yellow and pink to make an orange, mix a blue and yellow to make a green, and then uh, a pink or magenta with blue to make a purple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting and taking you guys through my process. And I cannot wait to answer your questions. Let me set this aside. All right, and grab my absolutely favorite brush. As you can see, this brush has been used, okay? This is a used brush. So um, it's my absolute favorite brush to use for paintings. You can find it at Michael's or Blick Art Store. It's the Graduate Brush by Simply Simmons. And yeah, I'm just gonna get started. I'm going to be painting on the fly. So I don't know where this painting is gonna end up, which I think is really fun because this can, just, we don't know where it's gonna end up. So we're kind of just gonna go through this together and create some awesomeness. I'll be using my um, signature brush stroke style. Let's see, well. when did you, it, you said that you started with color when you moved to France in the winter. Mm -hmm. Were you doing art prior to that? I would assume you were. Yeah, so I've, I've always um, have dabbled in art ever since I was, I think four is when I started taking art classes. And I mean, over, over the years I've explored um, with illustration, fashion illustration, um, photography, ceramics. And so um, I think, let's see, whenever I was working in advertising, I was always in Photoshop because I was an art director. And I found that I really just needed to take some time to make something with my hands again. And so that's kind of how I came back to painting. And whenever I moved to France, I, it was kind of gloomy, kind of winter. And so that was a moment for where I was like, I need to brighten, I need, I need to see another color other than, than gray and, right. and beige. If you've been to Paris, it's very beige. And so, <laughs> yes. And so, yeah, I, I went to the art store and in color, like I, I just felt so much better whenever I painted with these bright colors. They're just so hopeful, you know? 
Yeah. yeah, I love that. Um, I, I I think I told you this when we initially met, but um, I was walking through our production facility and our production facility in at EC is not bland. <laughs> it's right. very, with the exception of the stacks of books, it is very colorful back there. Um, oh. And I have to tell you that I literally stopped dead in my tracks when I saw your collection samples that were about to go out to some of our affiliates and, and yours were in there as well. I was like, holy cow, these are absolutely joyful. Like that was the only word that I could express is that they are so bright. Like this design in particular yes. is so fantastic. And I believe behind you, do you actually have the original from this or is? So I don't have that original anymore, but um, this one is very, it's, I recreated it based off of this design. It's but so fantastic. I love it. The colors are truly, um, whenever, like I said, when I saw them, the printing on the products, I was like, oh, they nailed the color. <laughs> they nailed Good. It. I'm so glad to hear that. And this also, this kindness always, I have this um, in a couple of different iterations. And I think it is just so fantastic. The message as well. The message yes. is, as I think, like as a, um, as a product you use every day. Yes, just, absolutely. Um, and we have, um, uh, so you're actually working on, I think our next collection with you as well. Yes. Oh, I didn't know if the word was out. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, it probably, I probably am getting text messages right now saying, no, <laughs> don't say the word. Out. But I, I did see a couple roll past, so I was excited. But um, in this collection, we have some stationery. So this is a really beautiful little fold over A2. And we have these beautiful acrylic blocks that I showed a little bit earlier. These are probably my go-to holiday gift this year because I think that they are just beautiful. We have some folios and then a whole bunch of covers um, for all of our books. And they are just fantastic. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, this, um, and then this is another one of the folios, which is just amazing. I love those. Oh my gosh, Jesse, that looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's going to change so much in our short time together. <laughs> <laughs> going to go through lots of, lots of phases. It'll, we'll see if it has a, a teenage, an awkward teenage phase. We'll see, but. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do but, your paintings normally have an awkward teenage phase? I would, I would say so. I would say so. There's always a moment where you're like, why did I do this? And then you just keep pushing through and then, and then you're like, okay, we're good. We're good. We're going to be all right. <laughs> Where do you buy your art supplies in France? Because I know that I wish I was a painter. The first time I walked into an art store in Paris, I was like, I need to do this. I mean, Paris has like these stores, the Sennelier store in Paris. It's uh, beautiful. It really makes you feel like you're like an old, uh, like, you know, like you're shopping with uh, the great impressionist artists and stuff. So Paris has like some amazing art stores, but I just shop at um, one that's called Rougier Plé. Um, it's, it's kind of equivalent to like Blick mm -hmm. art store and another one called uh, Gion des Beaux-Arts, which is like a Blick as well, because I got to stay profitable. So I <laughs> 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 <hold> my money. <laughs> we hear you, Jesse, we hear you. <laughs> but also with the French name, it sounds much fancier than, it really does. It than much Big Blick. <laughs> <laughs> so have I'm you giving some of these areas some time to dry so that I don't make it muddy that's kind of like a secret it's like you kind of got to let it dry so that's you can keep the colors nice and bright amazing have you introduced your daughters to our um or your older daughter to our Sherpa throws uh, she she tried okay it's like a it's like a fight every evening um yes. when we're on the couch <laughs> The Sherpa throw is absolute is my absolute favorite. It's something that I have used day one since it came out of the box. Um, the colors, the printing of the colors, stunning, so soft, and um, the the blanket itself is so warm. It is so warm. <laughs> I'm glad so, you like it. Right I before this, I ran up to my daughter's room because I knew that that's where it was when I couldn't find it. I was like, I know that that's where it is, and certainly that is where it is. Oh, so she likes it. I love that she loves it too. Well, and she loves your colors because I, I have a much more muted color palette. She has the precise opposite. So the first time she saw the box come in 
And I think it was this one. And she was just like, that is mine. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Not to mention she can't read yet, but you know how, <laughs> how little ones can be. So we have a couple of um, questions coming in. So I would love to ask, yeah. What was the inspiration in moving to France? Did you visit first or did you just jump right in? So I moved to France uh, because I, uh, my fiance, he was French. And so he what? He's my now husband. But yes, my at the time fiance was French. And he pretty much, uh, he's a pastry chef. So we were in San Francisco. He was working as a pastry chef and his visa was up. And so he was like, hey, uh, would you ever want to move to France? And I was like, hello, like of course, like I, it's just such an adventure. I couldn't say no. And honestly, we had planned to move back to the US. So um, we were like, oh, we weren't planning. We were like, oh, we'll just like hop over to France. But once we got here, I absolutely fell in love with the food, the culture, the people. And um, yeah, we're still here. So yeah, I just, I love, I love living here. It's such an adventure. And I'm still always learning about life here. You know, it's always going to be a mystery. That's amazing. And the pastry chef thing also. Oh, oh my goodness. I, I shared with Jesse, well, right before we all got on, when she told me her husband was a pastry chef, I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> like we need to visit immediately. Like, um, <laughs> yes. Okay. I think it's time for our first giveaway, if that's all right with you, Jesse. Absolutely. All right. So get ready. We're going to drop your answers in the chat section and I will announce the winner shortly. Um, some of our EC team is standing by and we'll randomly select and uh, send over the answer to me shortly. Um, so the prize is a box of the EDIV collection valued at over $100. Um, and the question is, what product are you the most excited about from the new EDIV EC collection? Drop your answer in the chat and we will let you know the winner very shortly. Ooh, can't wait to see the favorite items. Oh, here we go. These are my, the, uh, oh, we're getting a lot of love for the Sherpas, a lot of love for the planners, Ooh. lots of love for the Sherpas. They're, they're amazing. <laughs> they truly are. It's that time of year. It's that time of year. And my dad, he's like already taking my other sample home. He's like, this is for your mother. <laughs> I think, I, like, can, no. I think we can hook your dad up <laughs> because I want my second one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can hook your dad up. So much. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, ooh, and we have a few folks noting that the planner is their favorite, especially if you have a newborn, which we both understand. Yes. The yes. planning and the newborn is a good, it's a good combination. I love hearing that because that's so true. Very, very true. All right. And um, a couple of other questions. Um, your art, Jesse, is just such a breath of fresh air we were talking about right now. Given the state of the world, what kind of feelings do you hope others feel when they look at your artwork? Do you keep that in mind when you're creating or is it more of an after effect? Holy cow, that's beautiful already. Yes, I'm going to let that one dry. I'm going to work on a second. <laughs> um, Perfect. Yes. So... I would say um, whenever I create with um, such bright color, my goal is for it to just be pure eye candy for someone. So I want to evoke all those feelings of joy, hopefulness, um, just overall, just something that makes you feel something is what is the goal for my artwork. And if it can just even just bring a small smile to your face, which is why I love lending my artwork to products such as a planner. It's something that sits on your desk every day. You can look at it and, you know, even just glance over and it's like, ooh, like a little pop of color, like, the, you know, just makes you feel good. So that's, that's what I hope others feel. That's <laughs> amazing. Jesse. how did you get that metallic gold? Is that like a... How did you get that technique on there? So this is metal leaf. I think I have it sitting over oh. here. I kind of prepped this one in advance just to, I was like, oh, maybe, you know, I'll have time to do a that second. super beautiful. So metal leaf, you can find it at the art store. The brand is Mona Lisa. They also make a 24 karat gold leaf as well. But this one's just a metal leaf because just for a demonstration. And you apply it with an adhesive. 
um, which is sold under the same brand. I believe it's their Speedball and Mona Lisa. And you can find it at Michael's, Blick Art Stores, and it's pretty much like you add an adhesive and then just stick it on there. And then once it dries, you wipe it away. And Are you using a spray adhesive? Um, it's a, it's, I think I actually have it right here. Oh, I have it right here. Oh, it's just a paste. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. That's just awesome. Take it in, let it dry a little bit mm -hmm. and then add that on top. And then once it's completely dry, just wipe off the excess. Mm -hmm. That it's, is fantastic. I highly recommend picking some up and just like playing with it because you can do so much with it. It's wonderful. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. And we have the first winner. Uh, oh, Casey Glotke is the winner of our $100 um, box of EC Edivy products. So congratulations, Casey. Congratulations, Casey. Awesome. All right. Um, OK, we are going to, um, sorry, <laughs> taking a look at my notes. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Oh, this is a fun one. I might jump right back into another giveaway, one more giveaway. And then we have one at the very end, which um, you'll definitely want to stay tuned for. So the second giveaway is another uh, box of Edivy EC products valued at over $100, plus a copy of Jesse's new book, Bright Book, which is called Bright Book. Who is your publisher on Bright Book? Uh, my publisher is Better Day Books, mm -hmm. and they, um, it's, it's wonderful. They produce all things like creativity, all things craft, all things um, art and exploration of your creative side. So oh, that's okay. amazing. All right. So this next giveaway, the, the, again, the prize is a box of Edivy uh, products and EC products, plus a copy of Jesse's new book called Bright Book. Um, so again, we're gonna drop your answers into the chat section. And I love this question. What do you think Jessie should name this painting that she's doing right now? Ooh, so there's this one and then there's this one as well. Oh, both yeah. are beautiful. Yeah. I think amazing, they have amazing. Definitely two, they have two different vibes. Oh, I love that. Ooh, you're getting some really good. Um, oh, I'm loving these names, you guys. I know. <laughs> we'll give you a copy of the chat section for Please reference do. later if you'd like to use any of these. Ooh, Please, this golden do goddess. Amazing. All right, and we'll announce the winner very, very soon. So we have, um, ooh, we, we definitely need a copy of these, <laughs> these answers because this, maybe even for our next um installment of this together is amazing oh yes switch back to this guy over here let's go orange deep That's orange awesome um okay i'm going to ask a couple of more questions um so jesse I, this is definitely a question i had the minute that i read your bio you wear a lot of hats you are entrepreneur you are mom to two littles one of whom is only three months old a wife artist how do you stay organized especially when you're doing a lot of your work um intercontinentally well i i say let's see that's like the question because it is so it, it is it's a lot honestly, it's, it's a lot. And what I have learned, I've kind of had to learn the hard way, but honestly, um, proper planning. So your beautiful products will help with that, of course. Um, but honestly, it's learning how to say no. And yeah. I think that's important for all women uh, who wear all the hats. You know, a lot of things get put on us. And sometimes you, you just have to say no and finding the power in that. Um, for me personally, I just, I, I didn't want to overwhelm myself so that I could be more present for the things that I currently, you know, am signed up for, like being a mother, being a wife. And um, yeah, I think it, it's, it's, I wanna make sure I'm there for my girls in the evening. And so I really am just really careful about not overloading my schedule. And also I have great partners that I work with, my um, licensing agency, Jewel Branding. It's an amazing team of women who seriously, they handle like that whole side of my business for me to where I can just focus on making artwork. Um, 
I have a gallery that I work with. And so it's, I think it's, it's okay to like realize you don't have to do it all and to kind of hand off parts of your business or life, you know, to, to make it to where you have time to do what you need to do and to give it, to give that one thing your all. That's, so we're not yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Has your artwork changed at all after you became a mom? Yeah, I, I, I definitely would say um, my daughter, Savannah, my four-year-old, she just like, we'll do sessions where we'll make art together and just seeing how she just creates, just she, she doesn't like overthink things. And I think it's like taking that childhood curiosity. I think it's very inspiring to, to watch a child make art because it's like, oh, they're just going for it. Like, why can't I just go for it too? And so I think it's changed the way I approach creating. That's amazing. And do you, when you start on, um, this is a question from Lauren, when you start a painting that you want to create, do you just start and see how it turns out? Or do you have a specific inspiration in mind when you start? Yeah, if, it, if it's like a time where I'm playing, let's say, where I'm just like wanna create something that's new or just, just to explore, then um, sometimes I, if I really have no idea what, like where to start, I collect a lot of inspiration. I take photos of everything, everything, everything. If there's a color I like, if I'm like walking down the street and I see a really pretty door, I take a picture of it. I have like a crazy library of inspiration. And so I always turn to that. I think it's very important as an artist to make sure that you are always collecting inspiration for a moment when, you know, you want to, create something new and like so I can just look through that photo I'm like oh I love that green oh I love the shape of that leaf this I went uh they're peacock feathers so it's like oh, they're peacock feathers. and and yeah like it's I went to a like an animal farm with my daughter and painted this after it and so that is amazing it's always turning to to life um mm -hmm. and finding the moments that that inspire you and translating it into art Amazing. And there's another really good uh, question. Uh, what is your inspiration and who are, who is your favorite artist or artist? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm sorry. I realized when that was coming out of my mouth, that probably really put you on the spot. <laughs> All the artists? Um, oh my gosh. It's so funny. Every time I'm asked this question, I literally have no idea how to answer it because I love, okay, let me think. Um, like, let's say even contemporary current artists. Um, I really love Lisa Cogden. Mm -hmm. um, there's just, and I think the thing, the thing I wanna say is that over time, once you get to, like you start liking an artist because you love their work, um, but then over time, the more you get to know that artist, you start to actually like just love that artist as a person and the messages that they share through their work. And, for me, like she, the work that she does, um, she always has like such an inspiring message, but it's also like real talk. And it's also very um, like togetherness, like looking out for each other, um, protecting the vulnerable. Like she always has such a good, strong message in her artwork. And so I just like really love like everything she does. And like I said, it's, you fall in love with the art first and then like even just like the artist as a person. So, that. that is like really on the spot. Like I have so many. So many. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. I shouldn't have asked. Thank you so much. That's an amazing, um, an amazing way to think about how to choose your favorite artist too. I think Ooh. that's awesome. Um, one thing that I was going, oh, two really funny questions. One, when you, Anna Smith asked, if you see someone out in the wild with something that is yours, do you stop them and <laughs> and say, hey, I painted that. Yes, okay, so it's funny because I live in France and so I, more of my products are absolutely in the US. So I don't get to do that as often, but I, I have, I have what, what did they have? I've seen my phone case in the wild and I've seen a notebook. And, and actually the person with the phone case saw me first. Uh, so oh. that was like, it was like, oh, oh my gosh. Um, but uh, when I saw the notebook, I was just like, uh, hi, like, this is weird, but uh, I made that. And then, but, and they actually didn't, they didn't know, they they were like, oh my gosh, I, I just bought this because I loved it. They didn't even like know who I was like already. And so I love that, even that 
they picked it up because they loved it. And so I was like, that's so cool that art can speak to people, just speaks to people, just jumps off shelves at people. That's level. amazing. Um, all right. And we have our second uh, prize giveaway. I think that this woman also just asked if you were taking friend applications. Um, uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Spisich, and sorry if I um, spelled that or, or pronounced that last name incorrectly, but Elizabeth Spisich is our um, second giveaway prize winner. So congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. And if you are in any of our EC stores, we also have copies of Jesse's book in the Bright Book in stores as well. So you can always check it out there. Um, oh, that's awesome. All right, and we have just a few minutes left, Jesse. So tell us how you're gonna um, not to not to yeah. pressure you, but how you're going to finish your painting, or if you're putting your finishing touches. Yes. So I'm going to. Well, I just need to let her dry a little bit, but um, I'm gonna finish it up by adding some like little flourishes to it, and I'm gonna clean it up a little afterwards, of course, you know, because I have to make sure. But I like to go in at the end and add flourishes being like just different sized brush strokes so that there's in areas where I feel like it needs like maybe a little bit more interest or movement. So I'm going to go in here and kind of just like blend the yellow, blend, blend the space between the areas that are a little harsh, just so they're a little bit more smooth. Like that. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm really I like like took a little Look on the camera. I like how it's that is amazing. That looks gorgeous. I'm really liking it. And then, of course, I have some gold that I'm going to be adding, as well as some little details. But I'm just waiting for that area to dry just a little bit more. Usually, I have a hair dryer on me, so <laughs> I dry a little quicker. But then we wouldn't be able to have our lovely conversation. So I have a couple of other really good questions that I would love to um, get over to you. Haley asks. Um, I'd love to hear about perfectionism and art. Do you have any tips on just deciding a piece is done versus um, obsessing and trying to perfect it more? And yes. she struggles with that. Oh, okay. Haley, is that what that was your name? Yeah. Um, yes. Um, one, a phrase that I always spin around in my mind is perfect is, or done, done is better than perfect or finished is better than perfect. It's, it's true. It's like, you have to get to a point where um, we don't want to like, I'm trying to think of how I should say this. I personally, I don't like to put too much pressure on myself, on my art, because then it's not fun anymore. And, you know, I think that's kind of also a point of art is like, you don't want it, you don't want to put that much like strain on yourself and your art. You want to keep it breezy, keep it, keep it enjoyable and therapeutic. I mean, I personally do. And so, yeah, I just, I really try to just give myself grace as an artist and don't, I'm just like not too hard on myself. I'm like, you know what, let me finish it. And what's cool about it is like, even when you're finished and let's say it's like not the most perfect piece of art, you can always like paint over it and start again. It's nothing is final. And um, there's just, yeah, there's just always the option to, to start again. I mean, it's practice, you know, that's how we, we get better. You know, like everything I paint is, is absolutely not amazing at all. And uh, I had to just like let go of that so that I didn't go crazy. That's amazing. I love that, Jesse. And also it, um, I do the same thing in the rest of the areas of my life too. If you obsess over being the perfect parent, you're likely not gonna be the perfect oh, yeah. parent. <laughs> gonna give Thank yourself you. grace and take time to breathe. And um, you can always paint over it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to make some t-shirts. You can always paint over it. You can always paint over it. Next um, collection. I like that. We'll put that in there. And Ardina, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. She asked two really interesting questions. One is she asked, my 14-year-old daughter is an artist, which is amazing. Um, she draws primarily with pencil and colored pencil. Do you have any advice for her as far as next steps other than art classes at school? And she she's an artist. She does pencil, color pencil. And does she want to, how old is she? 14? 14. 14. Yeah, I would say, um, I don't know if she's doing any like exhibitions at school or if she's like entering her artwork into um, like the art shows that they have usually at schools. Um, but I think it's really good to like show your work 
that's very important to even from a young age before like even maybe like the confidence is there just to get it out in the world and like get the habit of putting yourself out there and and i would say as a as a 14 year old it's take critique with like a grain of salt like don't over you know you know but people say it's a it's great but like it's not everything like follow your own creative curiosities and just like keep putting it out there like that's what i amazing all right well we are almost um almost at time to wrap up i want to uh, announce this last giveaway our third giveaway of this webinar um, the winner of this uh, giveaway is going to be announced on our Instagram stories. So make sure you're following EC and we'll announce the winner there. And the prize, this is the one that I really wanted to, I might take a selfie anyway and enter myself <laughs> into this contest, although I've been told I can't win, is actually this one of a kind Edivy painting that, that Jesse painted for us live. Um, yes. So if you want the finished, um, beautiful, piece that that Jesse is painting right now enter this giveaway um, how to enter it is take a selfie of you on this live right now and post on social media tagging Aaron Condren and Etta V and you will be automatically entered so you need to take a selfie on the live right now and post on social media tag Aaron Condren and Etta V E T T A V E E on Instagram and you'll be automatically entered and the giveaway winner will be selected randomly by our team and um, we will both contact you directly and also post it on our Instagram stories um, so get started right now and oh my gosh Deshley that looks amazing there's going to be it's going to there's going to be lots of more love put into it, but I do want to say like um, this piece, like once finished, is usually valued around like two, maybe maybe two hundred, maybe two fifty or so. We'll say so. Amazing. It's eight by ten, and you can frame it any way you want. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see who gets to take to give it a new home. That's amazing. And can you tell us before we close, um, what did you use to you to do the gold? Did you use a metallic? Yes. So I used, um, let's see, I think in the US, the brand is Deco Color. And they are metallic pens that you can pick up at Blick, my favorite store. Um, and yeah, they're they're metallic. They're absolutely metallic. They're oil based. And so you get like a really great shine. Like look. Oh, that's amazing. The way that it just pops off of any surface, I'm, I mean, so in love. That is beautiful. All right. So get ready to enter that giveaway now. Tag us on social media. We can't wait for you to see who, um, like Jesse said, gets to give this beautiful painting a new home. Jesse, thank you so much for your time. And I hope you get to go enjoy your dinner with your family. Yes, the cheese, the melted cheese situation. Yes. I think that's where you need to. <laughs> and will you be having dessert? That's my question for you. Do you eat pastries at home? Uh, yes, I had like oh, so much. So I had like croissants this morning. It's bad. It's <laughs> I need to like calm it down. Yes. But live in the dream in France. I love it. I love it. You are such an inspiration to us. Thank you so much, Jesse. If you are interested in any of the EC out of V collection, it's live now and we will have some additional beautiful work together in the future as well. And Jesse, thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you everyone for joining us and spending some inspiring time this, this morning, this afternoon, this evening um, with you all. And we will be sharing this recording soon. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tanya. Thank you for everything EC team. And thank you everyone for enjoying this happy, colorful moment with us today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you.